All right, today I'm going to talk about the uh, ATAs, VoIP ATAs. Uh, this is a Sepura 3000. This is a, a company that Linksys acquired uh, and uh, basically rebranded their products to be the uh, Linksys LVS system. So this was one of them in a, in a line of products. So this allows you to hook up um, one telephone and one phone line and you can do routing between that or use this as just the an ATA that will convert an analog phone into a VoIP phone. But this little device is like a, a Swiss army knife in terms of learning VoIP. So if you ever wanted to learn about VoIP, this was the little gadget to have. It was low cost and it allowed you to do many things with it. Um, I This was one of the first little devices I own and it really helped me uh, learn a lot about VoIP. Um, this and this other one, this one is a model Mm. Uh, it's hard to read the model, but it's uh, I think a model 1001. So this allowed you to do basically the same thing, but no analog line support. It was strictly one telephone, but it supported many SIP carriers. So you could uh, allow uh, to connect to multiple SIP carriers using one phone. And there was um, dialing prefixes to select what carrier you wanted to dial out using uh, this device. So this was very flexible. So what I'm going to do with this today is just open it up to see what's inside. Um, I haven't opened it up before. I, I don't know what to expect or, you know, whether it's interesting or not. But I was just always curious to see what was inside. It was a nice little box, so I just want to see the, the little board that's inside. So I removed the uh, the rubber caps because I figured it would be a little difficult to uh, do while I was uh, recording everything. So the nice thing about these is that they once you remove them, it, it, they're not just glued on the bottom. They actually go all the way in. Uh, so you can put them back in once, once you've uh, done uh, opening it up and putting it back together, So which is good. Um, this one, a little different. Um, once you remove the, uh, the little plastic covers, uh, and you lose that, you kind of end up with something like this. So let's take a look at the, what's inside. Looks like it didn't remove one of the screws well enough and it, it broke off one of the uh, little covers, but that's all right. Um, so here's how it looks inside. It looks like uh, very nice. Let's see if I can remove more without breaking this. Uh, Sure now it comes off. And that's that's the whole board.
turn it up like this. Turn it over. This way. This way. All right. 